are some hoodies I made recently. Well, they've been in the works bro for like a year and a half maybe. But I finally got them in. So I'm giving them to people. They're the fixed versions. These are, way. Yeah, I got a bunch of these that I made. And yeah. But this is them. But before I release those or any of the cut hoodies, I'm actually planning to release this one. It's just uh, basically just a black hoodie cut collar with a waffle thermal liner. Uh, you can see it. It's reversible, so you can reverse it and then just like the thermal will be showing on the outside. So I thought that's pretty cool. You got cut collar, just like a really good basic hoodie. Um, all I'm deciding right now is I think this will be the medium. It's not as, originally it was the large, but um, I don't think it fits as well as like a, as big as a, as a large wood in my opinion. So I think I'm gonna make this the medium. And I'm also releasing these sunglasses with this hoodie. It's like a, not releasing them together, but oh yeah, I'm releasing them together, but not as like a bundle. There's only 50 pairs of these available. I think I'm only gonna make like 50 of these hoodies. So it's got, we got overlock stitching. So you can see here and here, goes over. It's overlock stitching. -ish. But yeah, I think these might go fast and the sunglasses. This is like a really warm hoodie too, guys. So I started with 50, cause I don't know how many people actually wanna support me and support what I do. But just know also that like, I'll make a more in depth probably stuff about this hoodie and the glasses. I still am working on this just a little more to finalize it. Yeah, this is just like another way to support me. Um, I really do want to continue to make YouTube videos, continue to make clothes and stuff. These new like blanks I made, freaking huge. Got the double layered hood, top stitching as you can see. Man, like fits so good. And then we got this, these other ones. I only made a super limited amount of these. It's a Kai Twombly print, it's not my print. I don't ever take ownership of it. But it's like my favorite artist and I did like a thing. Just made some for friends and stuff. But this one fits so far. Double layer hood. I'm going to put tags on them and stuff. But top stitching. Super big. Just great fit. <sighs> if you guys want me to make these, let me know if I have enough interest. But I might just like work on another graphic. So I might have a couple extra. Let you know. Follow by Tommy Pointer. If I sell one, I might put one on there. Might raffle one off even. I feel like that's a good idea. I might raffle one off. We'll see for the for the uh, for the team. But yeah, dude, this is the cross version. Super fire. Um, these ones don't really have ribbing. They kind of just use the same fabric. But the real ones that I actually end up making will have ribbing. But yeah, gonna work on those. You know, that's what I'm working on right now. See, they're they're like my other ones that are super big, like these ones, but they're a little toned down to fit better. You know, just fit more. Not as crazy. Not as big. So. More of a realistic fit. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I love these, bro. I'm so hyped. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Next. Uh, let's go to the next. Oh, what's up, guys? I'm currently uh, chilling in my bed. But today, I have some notes on how to build a better wardrobe. I got some notes. I got some. Uh, I wrote it down in my little my, my little journal. First step: take your time. Uh, don't feel too rushed to buy things you know you're building a wardrobe you want to have a closet that is well thought through you know thinking your purchases through is always a good thing just because you don't want to like regret them and you just want to make sure your purchase is worthwhile how much you will end up wearing the piece really does matter that's not something i really think through i think if i buy something it comes in and there's a lot of things in my closet even now that i just don't wear all that much you know and that really does matter because you want a closet that works together, but you just wear everything. Cause you don't wanna have things that just sit around and you never wear them, that'd be useless. This is something I struggle with. Sometimes I uh, don't really think my purchases through, kind of buy things on a whim. A lot of people do that and you know, buy pieces that complement each other. Guys, step two is to buy pieces that complement each other. You know, you want a closet that works together, it's fluid together. You can buy pants and other things that work with different tops. You want your whole closet to kind of work together so you can have a bunch of different outfits you can't just have like five outfits and that's it because everything doesn't work with each other but if you have like 10 you know different outfits with a small amount of pieces you know more than that you want more than that but stuff that's fluid that you can interchange depending on your mood that's always good something i struggle with i don't know if this is the best piece of advice but stop asking for input from your friends and and, and people around you like yo it's always the dude in the corner at the party who asks for the most input <coughs> yeah don't I, I just wrote don't ask too much uh input from other people make sure you want it and find validation within yourself in your own closet that you're building it's very important that you love your closet and 
I feel like when you ask someone for input on a piece, you kind of doubt that you don't really want it that much. So just kind of really think through what you want to buy, what you want to build. I mean, unless it's like 20 bucks, but that stuff adds up. This kind of depends on the closet. A lot of, it just depends on your closets. It's easier for some types of aesthetics and some it's not, but pick pieces that hold value so you can build your wardrobe and not worry about um, wasting money. Cause your style will change and you'll definitely grow uh, old of pieces you have and you'll want to sell them. So find pieces that, don't go out and just buy pieces that like if you go out and just buy retail Balenciaga or something that's gonna lose a lot of value, it's like a car, you know? But if you go out and buy like a like used something, used Rick piece or a vintage piece, vintage, that's a little risky, do your research. But you know, you buy into like a Rick piece, it'll hold its value and you can sell it for more if it's a good enough piece. But don't go don't go buy an extra orbit, is that the right word? Amount of pieces. Another thing that kind of goes with that is like, dude, you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a nice wardrobe. It might just take longer a lot longer, but you don't have to spend uh, a ton of money. You know, you can always go on eBay, you can always thrift, you can always go on like Depop, the G word. Shh. We don't speak about that here, you know what I'm saying? Gosh. But look for steals. You know, Shia LaBeouf literally gets all this stuff, I think, from like thrift stores for mad cheap. <coughs> so you don't have to have a lot of money to build a nice wardrobe. It'll just take you a lot longer. It'll probably take you more time too. A small curated wardrobe is better than a huge messy one. If you have a small, curated, very well thought through wardrobe, it's gonna look better than if you have a messy, large wardrobe consisting of a bunch of random pieces, cheap pieces, things that you didn't really think through because nothing's gonna look well. If you think through your wardrobe, it's always gonna pay off. That's why I always say take your time and try the best to make good decisions early because you will thank yourself later. If you just get straight into it and buy a bunch of shit from the thrift store, which is kind of like, dude, my summer year of high school, I just went to the thrift and I'd buy like five things every time I went. And all of a sudden I just had all this stuff that I just never wore and just kept in the back of my closet it and I regretted it a ton you know what I'm saying so don't do that don't fall into uh, that don't fall into the consumer mindset you don't need to have a million things but yeah that's it kind of for how I'm feeling on building a wardrobe just think it through don't waste your money and yeah your style will change things will change everything's always fluid you'll grow old of what you wear it happens but everyone that's it for that segment um here's a couple other segments with some like pickups a little bit of halloween footage stuff like that so might have a bit of a carson feature in this video so let's get to that yo guys so i got this jacket right here it's like a farmer's jacket from so farmer had it for like a couple of decades actually and it's really it's really dirty man as you can see like I'll show you guys, hold up. So as you can see, it's like really dirty. So I'm gonna take it and wash it. Uh, the only thing I was worried is like, is all the dirt gonna come off? Is it just gonna be like a blue jacket? But I'm gonna take you guys on the journey with me to see what happens when I wash this. I wore this jacket yesterday and as I was wearing it, a spider crawled. I saw it on the thing and I freaked out. And then I saw a spider on the wall. Like, I think it might be cursed. Um, so it might need a good wash. Let's, uh, let's see. Obi. All right, so I washed it. It looks like it kept most. So I put it up here just to dry outside real quick, but got the chain mailing right here, which is pretty nice. It looks like it kept most of it, but we'll have to see. We'll have to wait till it dries. I'll do a little uh, sniff test. It smells a lot better. I'm not stinky anymore. It may look stinky, but it's not stinky anymore.
Would you kiss your dad? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah you would. That's fire. Wait, get one. Hey guys, quick question. Uh, I'm just wondering, what do you guys think of my friend's costume? He's right here, this is him. What do you think? Well, that's it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Have Thank fun. Gang, <laughs> gang, 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 gang. What's good? Oh. Halloween, baby. Those was awkward and got in my life. <clears throat> Great. I thought that was the best. Everybody's asking if I'm high and they just don't know that this is what I'm usually like. Dude, everyone thinks I'm super baked in my YouTube videos, but I don't even smoke. I'm just Every baked off life. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yo, wait, I'm gonna get this girl to show us her straight pipe Prius. Yo! Dude, this is the move. Cat, Cat girl driving the Prius. Pipe pipe Prius. <laughs> yeah, so Yo! <laughs> she got the foreign. She got the foreign free. Did you hear that? What do you think? Yo, thank you. Yo, I hate rock, rock stacking.